Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hello everyone, my name is Pankumar Thadi, working as a Senior Cloud Operations Engineer at Miracle Software System. This video is about deploying applications onto Google App Engine with Jenkins. Today, our agenda is an overview of Jenkins and Google App Engine. Jenkins custom plugin, blue green deployment and notifications with Jenkins, reference architecture explanation followed by a live demonstration. What is Jenkins? It is an open source continuous integration and continuous delivery tool which helps us in automating the process of deploying the application from development to production along with test case automation. Continuous integration in is a development practice that helps developers to integrate core with shared repositories like GitHub, SVN, CVS, etc. several times a day with proper management. Continuous deployment is an approach in which all the code that was pushed into repositories are built and deployed immediately that helps developers to identify any bugs at early stages. This will create a real as a life cycle in a project. Coming to Google App Engine, it is a platform as a service offered by Google to deploy applications onto world-class Google infrastructure. It helps organizations to focus on developing the application and services, leaving behind all other infrastructure and environment management tasks to Google. Google offers two different types of environment. One is flexible and the other is standard. In flexible environment, we run applications in Docker containers on Google Compute Engine service, which even can have access to storage and uh, other provides other functionalities like maximizing the number of cores as well as memory. On the other hand, standard environment is focused on securing the application by running the application in sandbox environment and restricting the access to underlying storage and blocking execution of non whitelisted binaries. Google provides many other features like monitoring the traffic, splitting the traffic between different versions of an application, Scanning the application for security vulnerabilities along with cache. What is custom plugin? Before I walk you through what is custom plugin is, let me explain about what a plugin is. A plugin is a source by which we can specify our requirements on how our application should be built and deployed. There are several plugins available in Jenkins to specify our requirement. But at some times, all those plugins might not satisfy our requirement even after making few changes to existing plugins. In such situations, we can develop our own plugin. In our organization, we had a requirement where we are supposed to deploy our applications onto Google App Engine with Jenkins. But a standard Jenkins server don't have any plugin to deploy applications onto Google App Engine. So in order to deploy applications onto Google App Engine, we are supposed to authenticate ourselves by configuring the underlying environment with service account credentials. So, we authenticated ourselves with the help of uh, Google uh, configuring the underlying environment uh, with the Google App Engine service account credentials. It worked good for deploying applications with single project, but we faced a challenge when we are supposed to deploy applications onto different projects in Google App Engine. So we started configuring the applications at runtime with different service account credentials by serving service account credentials file in a specific location and started acting the, and uh, changing the credentials at runtime. It worked good with running the jobs in sequence, but we faced a challenge when we ran jobs in parallel, where one job changed the credentials caused a failure in authentication of other Jenkins jobs. So finally, all these challenges made us to develop a plugin which will help us in deploying the applications onto a Google App Engine without any conflict with other projects. Apart from this, we have also have provided additional functionalities like stopping and deleting the previous versions on successful deployment of our application. Blue-green deployment is a technique in which we'll run two identical environments in order to reduce the risk of failure after deploying the new release. First, suppose we have two identical environments like blue and gray. If we deploy the new release to v0.1.1 to green server, then we will route all the traffic to green server and verify all the functionalities. 
In case, if we observe any bugs or failure in the test cases, then we can simply roll back the traffic to old version 0.1.0 and within short span of time, the customers will experience old application functionality. In this architecture, the developer pushes changes to the GitHub, where GitHub then intimates the Jenkins server about the changes with the help of GitHub webhooks. Once the Jenkins server receives notifications about the change, it will automatically start the build and deploy the application onto Google App Engine and perform all the requirement required test cases. In this case, if the test case fails, Jenkins will automatically roll back the changes by deploying lots of full build code onto Google App Engine and send notifications to developers with the help of Slack and email. Now, let me walk you through the demonstration of deploying applications onto Google App Engine. So, in order to do, deploy our application, we need to install our custom plugin that we have developed. For that, go to Plugin Manager, Advanced, and then we need to upload our plugin. For that, choose Plugin and select the plugin and click on Upload. Once that is done, it will be installed automatically and will be listed over here. Once this is done, we need to provide our authentication file by adding it to credentials. In Google in Jenkins. Here we need to select Google Service Account from private key and provide our project. As I have already listed, added my credentials file and will be listed over here. Now let's deploy our application. And one more thing is like in order to automate our deployment, we need to add GitHub webhooks with public URL of our Jenkins server. For that, we need to go to our project settings, webhooks, and then click on add webhook and provide the URL that of our Jenkins server. Once this is done, our Jenkins will get notifications about the changes that way for each and every change that we made to this project. So let's make a change to this project and let's see how the trigger will be. I'm just making a change to demo branch and committing the changes. And a trigger will be built automatically. Now a trigger has been happened on this particular project. Also we get uh, notifications on Slack. In order to deploy our application to Google App Engine, we need to configure Google App Engine plugin. For that, we need to select a pops up cr uh, credentials file that we have uploaded and the command to deploy our application along with the service name. And we will be provided with two options, whether to stop the previous server and delete the previous server or not. By selecting these two checkboxes, we are stating that we need to delete our previous version of our Google App Engine. Now we can observe our Google App Engine dev and modern build code succeeded. And let's have a look into the console. So our previous version is 2017 and this version will be stopped and deleted from our Google App Engine default service. And here we can observe the new version got deployed and the old version got deleted. And also a trigger will be built on Google App Engine test environment. Now we can observe that Google App Engine test build also got succeeded and the application got deployed onto Google App Engine test environment. Let's see the outputs of the application. The title of this application is Google App Engine. And coming to the test service version of Google App Engine, it will be Google App Engine. Now let's make change to deploy, uh, make the application fail. For that, I'm just making change in the title, which should be Google App Engine, but I'm changing, making it change to Google App Engine change. And just committing my changes to Google App Engine demo. As this test case will verify the title and automatically a build fail will happen on Google App Engine dev environment and Google App Engine dev rollback will be triggered automatically. Now we can observe the Google App Engine dev environment build got failed and 
automatically the rollback will be triggered. And we can observe the test cases that a failure had happened because it found Google App Engine changed, but the required one is Google App Engine. So here the title is Google App Engine change, but the required title is Google App Engine. Now the dev rollback will automatically implement a change in the title with the previous code, and we will get Google App Engine dev as Google App Engine as the title in our application. Also, we got a notification through email stating that a failure had happened on Google App Engine Dev and Moment, along with the Slack notification saying that a failure had happened on the Google App Engine Dev and Moment, fail number 26, and a rollback has been triggered as a result of a failure in Google App Engine Dev and Moment. Now we can observe the build code success after. 1 minute 54 seconds, and the title should be changed from Google App Engine change it to Google App Engine. This is because of the configurations that we will be copying the artifactory from the workspace of Google App Engine Dev from lost successful instead of just cloning it from Google App Engine Google GitHub. Here we can also that we are copying the uh, workspace of a Google App Engine Dev from the lost successful build data. That's it from the presentation and thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.